Okay, so this video isn't based on an existing iceberg chart. I just thought the topic fit well with the iceberg genre. So that's why it's in this type of format. With that out of the way, let's talk about Linus. Linus is a pretty mysterious dude. So today we are gonna talk about some of the theories about him. From good to <laughs> um, pretty terrible. <laughs> All right, theory one. He was a wizard slash magical at one point, but decided to give up his powers to live in the woods and eat tr trash? Decent theory, destroyed by the ending. Disappointing. Theory two. It was a wanderer that used to live in the now Hat Mouse's shop, and he left for a long time. When he came back, he had no house, so he started living in the tent. In my opinion, this theory doesn't actually make a lot of sense, because I'm sure that he could beat the hell out of a mouse. Quite easily, probably. So, debunked. Theory 3. The wizard is Linus's father. Or, the wizard cursed him to always be poor and live in the tent. That's why he resists people trying to buy him a home or help him. This theory kind of makes sense at first glance, but falls apart when you do a little bit of research. During the Halloween event in fall, the wizard and Linus are actually seen together, and judging from the dialogue, they're actually very good friends. So this theory is promising, it falls apart unfortunately. Theory 4 An interesting theory I thought was good is that Linus is some sort of druid and lives closer to nature because it helps him connect more with nature and his power. This actually makes a ton of sense to me, and I think it could be true. This theory also ties into another theory. The wizard has surprisingly in-depth knowledge of the Junwas, despite claiming to not be able to speak it the first time you meet him. We know Linus and him are friends, and often meet up during festivals. I'd like to believe that Linus was once magically powerful and closely tied to nature, maybe in a past life, or maybe he used to be some sort of creature in the forest or something wild like that, and met the wizard that way, then either gave up his immortality powers to have more natural life as a human, or he lost his powers somehow. Both of these make sense, and actually, I think they could be true, to be honest. Theory 5. Maybe he was the wizard's assistant for some time, and then maybe he had a close connection to the Junimos, which inspired him to leave the wizard to pursue a life with nature. Maybe that's why he feels so confident living by himself without a house slash substantial food slash friends, because he can use magic. I think this kind of makes sense. I could totally buy the wizard having, like, an assistant of some sort. He totally seems like the type of dude to do that. Theory 6. He's the owner of Jojo Inc., but after seeing what Jojo has become, he goes to live in among bracket sus bracket nature. <laughs> okay, no, I'm blurring the name. No free club. No, just no. No, 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 no. Theory 7. He was once a millionaire who became a supervisor at Jojo, but Morris decided to make him retire and make him look bad and also blackmail him. <laughs> Morris was successful and made him retire. Linus lost his millions and looked like a bad person in Zuzu City, so he decided to go to Staryu and live in a tent. Then him and the wizard became friends. Yeah, yeah, I could, I could buy this. Linus does seem like a pretty clever guy, so I can definitely see him like being the CEO of like you know multi-million dollar corporation. I can definitely buy that. And Morris does seem like kind of an annoying guy, so yeah, I could see him scamming him out of millions of dollars. Okay, shilling for 10 seconds, feel free to skip. Please subscribe when I hit 10k by the end of the year. Also, maybe uh, follow me on Twitch and um, also join my Discord chat and stuff like that. Um, uh, membership's $1. Okay, thank you back to the video. He had magical powers alongside the actual wizard, but after the witch broke up with the wizard, he got upset and took away Linus's power for some reason. Yeah, the wizard just kind of seems like kind of an annoying dude. I could definitely see him like taking away powers because he was like, you know, he was, he was molding a little bit. So yeah, I'd buy this. Theory 9. All the Living Off the Land episodes are pre-recorded and the host is actually a young Linus before he decided he wanted to test his survivalist skills and become a hermit. Okay, this is actually my favorite theory by far. Um, so if you don't know, on the TV every four-ish days there's a TV show called Living Off the Land that gives you handy tips for starting out, like this one's for the folks living in Stardew Valley. Check for spring onions southwest of the town, where the river meets the ocean. You can sometimes find a whole bunch growing down right out of the dirt. So pretty much just basic tips uh, for early players in the game. Really handy, actually. Uh, Linus seems super knowledgeable about forageables and stuff like that. He forages often, as shown by the dialogue. So I could totally see him recording this. Awesome theory. Shout out to Olivia. Theory 10. He's the player's grandpa and faked his death to bring us to the farm to save the town from Jojimart and awaken our forest powers. So this is a cool theory. Ugh, but the thing is... I'd have to hate Linus because I hate Grandpa. Like, he literally comes back and judges you, like, 
Come on, dude. Like, you're dead. Who cares what you think, man? Theory 11. He was a failed tech YouTuber that went homeless <laughs> and came to Stardew Valley. Uh, I think Linus is doing alright for himself currently. <laughs> Theory 12. I think Linus is the younger brother of the wizard, and when the witch and the wizard broke up, she punished the wizard by taking Linus' magical abilities as she left. As she and the wizard are the same type of ma dark magic and power level, she took Linus' abilities instead and sent the forest out of balance and spite. Not phased by the witch, Linus had lost the magic of the forest and the ability to speak with the Junimos, but found peace in the silence and serenity of the forest. Not able to give his brother's power back, but not being able to sit by and do nothing as the forest started to wither, the forest worked on a summoning spell with his brother to summon the Junimos to care for the forest in this place. Awesome theory. I actually really like this theory because it kind of explains why the Junimos exist, because before it's just kind of like, oh, uh, yeah, they're there, and, uh, like, they do stuff. So, like, I'm glad that, um, this gives a nice explanation for it. Theory 14. He was a rich person who came to the valley as a child, and was abducted by the Junimos and taught the ways of the wild by his captors, and eventually found the weakness of the evil apples, and told it to the wizard, which is why they are friends. Years later, the wizard has managed to set up a scam for a desperate cash grab, making the new farmers believe that the Junimos are good, and gets them to give them stuff to his slaves. <laughs> now he's a Junimo slave trader? Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Ah uh, yes, here at the Wallaker channel, we endorse slavery, so yeah, good theory. Theory 13. He served in the military, like Kent. But when he came back, he couldn't get a job due to his PTSD. He ended up homeless. He started Jojo Co, and it became huge. After seeing what the, his company had become, he decided to go back to his roots. Since he was nothing like others in the town, he stood out like a sore thumb, and the wizard took a liking to him since the wizard also didn't fit in with the others. This is actually a really cool theory. I like it because it, it really just honestly makes sense. Like, I feel like Linus does have like a deeper, darker backstory, and this is a great way of explaining it, and kind of explaining why he lives off on his own without help from, well, without help, mostly from people. Good theory. Theory 16. Haley hated him for being rich and burned down his mansion and stole all of his possession when he gets in. <laughs> yeah, screw Haley. Theory 17. Linus was once married and has a daughter. He became rich and greedy and his wife left him along with their daughter. He resided in a tent to have a new lifestyle because he realized his wrongdoings. Another theory that ties in with this is this one. I like to think he was once very shallow and rich, but then lost a significant other and in an attempt to reinvent himself out of despair, he went to the wizard and the wizard showed lines to Junimos and he fell in love with nature and decided to forage for food instead of contributing to companies like Jojo Mart. That or he's just homeless. These theories are very similar so I decided to bind them together like I said. I honestly like both of them. I think they kind of make sense because I, I I like that Linus actually would have character development not as just always like the awesome perfect dude he is today so good theory. Theory 18. I like the theory that Linus was once involved in the Garoto War. Perhaps his wife and child were killed, and he got terrible grief and PTSD. He escaped to the woods and shunned civilization because he believes people are dangerous. Over time, he became more in sync with nature, and learned to appreciate its cycles and forage for wild food. Pressed through this sensitivity, he also eventually learned to communicate with Junimos. The wizard knows of the existence of Junimos, but cannot communicate with them, so he formed a friendship with Linus to gain some knowledge of the nature spirits. The wizard uses this knowledge to maintain ecological balance in the valley. This is why certain trees will always regrow, water is always pure, and fire or floods are unheard of in Pelican Town. It's actually a banger theory. Explain why the trees just magically regrow, why like the soil isn't like completely crippled from like over farming, from planting hundreds of thousands of crops, and like completely overfished. So good theory, I really like it. It also, um, it's kind of surprising that we don't see more veterans from the Grotto War. I feel like there'd be a ton more. Because it's, I think it's still ongoing. Theory 19. Linus was an old school pirate who eventually felt that the money in fighting wasn't fulfilling anymore, so he decided to settle and live a quiet life in the same area as his old friend the wizard. He also mentions of being beyond the frozen sea, having traveled around a lot and having been deep in the mines, which would require fighting skills. Also his favorite dish is dish o' the sea. Very good theory. I believe it, because like the gem sea is nearby, and you can also see a shipwreck on Ginger Island, which could actually be his, because he knows Leo. <laughs> Random theory I just thought of, Linus could also be Leo's father, but he ran away because he was like afraid of responsibility or something. 
And I really like all the evidence you provided. This is like banger theory, not gonna lie. Theory 15. Linus started out living a normal life. He had a nice job, a wife, kids. However, all good things must come to an end. The same is true for Linus's previous great life. He decided he wanted to try and spend a week without anything in the woods. His family opted to remain at home. While in the woods, Linus fell. Far. Hitting his head on a rock. He became unconscious. The spirits of the forest took pity on him and saved his life. However, the damage to his brain had already been done. Linus managed to get back to his tent when he came across the wizard. The wizard, interested in the magic bestowed upon Linus, befriended him. Linus, at this point, started imagining things. He imagined certain characters, acting them out himself. Eventually, he believed the entire world of Stardew Valley to be real, when in reality, it was all a figment of Linus's mind. The wizard decided to project Linus's thoughts into reality, making Stardew Valley a physical place. Every character in Stardew Valley, with the exception of the player and the wizard, are a part of Linus. They are Linus. They are his alternate personalities, his desires, his dreams, created after a terrible head injury, and brought to life by the magical power of the wizard. The player falls into the stream created by the wizard. The wizard sees the player coming to a new life on the bus and decides to force the bus to break down. Interested in how the outsider would interact with Linus and his projected thoughts. Though the player is not a part of Linus's mind, they become a part of the dream. This is why the player can never return to the city. Linus lives out the life most appealing to him, but in reality, he could choose the life of any villager or create any new life for himself. His family, believing Linus to be dead, move on. His friends do the same. Linus lives out in his imaginary world for decades, decades, with no character aging, as Linus has not changed those characters. This explains why no characters in Stardew Valley age. The character gets enveloped in this li life of lie as well, bling everything as wheel, making Stardew Valley their home. When in reality, without the projections of the wizard, Linus is just a man with a broken mind trying to survive in a tent out in the untamed wilderness. The player is just a person stuck on a bus on a road going through the wilderness, but its reality will never be revealed to either Linus or the player, as with this revolution comes the death of Stardew Valley. With it comes the death of many people, many places, and the death of Linus's dreams and desires. Such a thing would severely cripple Linus, more than had already happened, so the wizard keeps this world alive, making sure Linus and the player have the resources required to survive in, re in reality, so that Linus's wonderful dream can live on. <sighs> that is a really good prompt for a story. A <laughs> good theory. Damn. Yeah, just good make kind of makes sense, but also very dark. Good. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any more theories, just leave them in the comments down below. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, subscribe. I want to hit 10k, like I said. Uh, so join Discord if you want to chat with me and some other cool folks. That's pretty much it. Uh, see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching.